Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I actually can't believe they've done it. I really can't believe it. What is going on, buddies? It is Take A Look recording this video for you at 5 a.m. GMT. Because I love wrestling. You love wrestling. We all love wrestling. So, Smackdown Live, eh? Smackdown Live. What a show. What a show. I'm recording this at 5 a.m. Might have already said that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I want to talk to you guys as the title suggest about Asuka. And I'm not I'm trying not to make this a 30-minute video like the last rant. The wrestling has this power, this this way of exuding emotion out of us. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Emotion. Power and redemption, right? So let's start off like this. Asuka comes up from NXT. She defeats Emma at TLC 2017, I believe. If I'm not correct, I would have corrected myself in edit there. You would have seen like a little thing there, like in the corner there. Um, and yeah, things are good. She then goes on to win the 2018 Royal Rumble, but gets her moment kind of stomped on by Ronda. But okay, they want to set up Ronda coming to the company. That's fine. Uh, she loses the title to Charlotte Flair. I'll say loses the title. Loses her main event match to Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. I'm not going to bitch about that because at the time I wanted Charlotte Flair to win. Absolutely, 100% wanted Charlotte Flair to win, right? So... Charlotte Flair, she won, and you know, that was fine. As I said, I was cheering for Charlotte Flair at the time. It's what they did afterwards. They put her in a team with Naomi, which, you know, in being in a team with Naomi is, is not a problem. It's all about how people are presented. Like, we constantly have this thing in mind where someone like Nia Jax, even though they don't necessarily win a lot of titles, even though they don't necessarily win a lot of their matches, because of the level here that WWE present them at, we constantly see them as a threat. Like even the, you know, even though it was fairly obvious that even to myself that people thought that Bailey and, and Sasha Banks would and should win the win the tag team championships at Elimination Chamber, we so, you know we there was that thought in the back of the mind. Well, oh yeah, Nia Jax and Tamina could win because that's how they built Nia Jax up. That's how to be perceived. You know, they perceive Charlotte Flair as this uh, excellent wrestler with a uh, goal to build on her father's legacy, which is fine because that's exactly what she is. They built up Becky Lynch to be this anti-hero, but at the same time, hero that we that we all want to believe in, that we all love. That's because that's how they're perceived. Mandy Rose is, is perceived as this like beautiful blonde, but you know she's actually quite powerful. Sonya Deville, you feel that could be. A little bit dangerous, like the iconics are uh, the sneaky. It's all about how they're perceived, all about how they're built, and all about how they're portrayed. So, speaking of build and portrayal, Asuka wins this Royal Rumble. She then loses to Charlotte Flair, right? Then she's put in a tag team with Naomi. She loses, actually, sorry, no, she loses to Carmella twice, actually. Again, no problem with losing to Carmella because that's how Carmella is portrayed at the time. She needed the help of Ellsworth and stuff like that. Fine. But it's about it's not about the person she's losing to, it's just about losing in general. She could have lost to Brock and it would have been you know, it would have been a bad idea. Just because of how hot she should have been. Fast forward on for all the bullshit to about no, late November, early December time, and, and they start rebuilding her, right? They put her even in this uh, women's uh, TLC match. Now, obviously, they wanted the belt off Becky, and that that's, again, fine. But the way they had her win the match was they basically had Ronda Rousey come down and toss both of her opponents off the ladder. I, I've mentioned it in my previous video. Please go back and check that out if you want, because I titled the, a video. Uh, four women whose careers WWE have damaged or something like that in the build-up to this women's uh, WrestleMania main event. And I originally thought to myself, am I being a dickhead by putting a fourth woman in the title, a fourth woman, I should say, in the title? Because, you know, you can argue that they've, you know, derailed Ronda Rousey's uh, WWE run. 
You can argue they've made Charlotte Flair a hated figure beyond that of being a heel, kind of like people were saying she's Roman Reigns 2.0 or whatever. And you can argue that they've they've um, kind of damaged Becky Lynch. But can you argue that Asuka really got a bad hand out of it? And I think you can. Considering if you look at it like this, how she won the belt, she didn't even win it by herself. Why not just have, as I said before, have Ronda Rousey come down and annihilate Becky Lynch from behind and then have Asuka fend off Charlotte uh, herself to win the belt. We've already established that Charlotte can take L after L, L, can take L after L and not really feel it because she's Charlotte Flair. You know, she is made of gold at this moment, which she deserves to be. She's excellent. Charlotte Flair is one of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. But, Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, you don't do that. But no, it's okay because, you know, you, you you kind of make up for it. You have a tap out Becky Lynch at the Royal Rumble, which is fine. Becky Lynch probably should have passed out, but hey, that's neither here nor there. That's not to do with Asuka. Asuka still gets the W and she does really well. She fucking does the business, right? She, she beats Becky Lynch clean, the hottest act in the company. But it's not about that one moment. It's about them building on that. Because then she didn't appear on the show for fucking ages, I swear. She might have appeared once or twice, and there might have been, like, these promo packages. But apart from that, like, she didn't appear at all. I don't know what the hell, where the fuck she was, man. But anyway, anyway, she comes back, and that, that was the beginning of the downfall, if there wasn't one, the second downfall. She comes back, and... You know, she faces Mandy Rose, right, at some point on SmackDown. And she actually loses that match to Mandy Rose, which, again, you want to argue, oh, we're trying to build the uh, we're trying to build the um, far, uh, fast lane match, and I suppose it wasn't clean, so that's fine. Then, saying that, though, she only won at fast lane because of Mandy Rose slipping on a ring apron, essentially. That's how they portrayed it. Um, we're two weeks out from Mania, less than two weeks now. And uh, before tonight, Asuka didn't have an opponent. She didn't have an opponent set up. So you could tell they clearly don't care about that title or Asuka, Asuka or both, whatever you want to say. And I've got to be honest, it really, really hurts me that they, they've done this because, like, you know, it's not just about Asuka, right? There's people affected by this. Naomi, Carmella, um, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. They were all meant to be, I'm sure, somehow in a WrestleMania match with Asuka. And, yeah, like, you know, you could say that they kind of I might have cut the match for time, whatever. But still, if you wanted to have, if you wanted to have Charlotte Flair like as women's champion for the end of WrestleMania for that four four horsewoman shot. Yeah, I can't do the bloody thing with the V or whatever. The four horsewomen shot, you know, the one where they're all holding their respective titles at Mania. Just don't put Charlotte Flair in this uh, Ronda Rousey match and just have Charlotte Flair face off against Asuka. The storyline's already written, bros. You got redemption for the streak. Versus cementing my legacy as the best women's wrestler. I am Ric Flair's daughter. I am Charlotte Flair. I'm cementing my legacy right here. Versus Redemption. Boom. Clash at WrestleMania. And you know what? Asuka can afford to take the L again. Because next year at Mania, if you fancy it, you got the build-up. You can even say, I'm Asuka. I've lost to you twice. This is You're the only person that has my number. I've lost to you twice at WrestleMania. If I lose this time, I'm retiring. And then have Asuka beat Charlotte because she obviously she don't want to retire. You know, and that's fine. Have her get her redemption. Redemption versus freaking... Oh, no, Korea versus... Uh, I fucking, you, you get the point that I'm trying to make. So, anyway, Charlotte Flair, she comes down. There'll probably be a clip up there if I don't get copyrighted. This whole Article 13 thing. But, hey, man, as I said, I've always done this for bloody fun anyway. So, what the fuck? Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a rapper, as they say. Right? I, uh, that's my attempt at a pop culture reference. I'm terrible at it. But anyway, so they have Charlotte Flair come down, and for, for out nowhere, she announces she's got this bloody match. Nobody knows why. What? What? Excuse me? Where did you get this from? 
I mean, can, can I? Can I just become a WWE superstar and say, yo, I'm take a look. Why don't you take a look at me? Like, that would be my fucking gimmick. Oh, what? what's that? What's that, Brock? You've turned up on SmackDown. I want a title. But no, 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 no. Why? We didn't even, we didn't even get a full explanation as to why. But anyway, Charlotte Flair wins. And that's that. And she, she beat her clean as well. Not even a distraction. And I don't possibly know who could distract. But maybe Lacey Evans. Because maybe you want to build like a freaking storyline for after SmackDown, after WrestleMania SmackDown or whatever. But goodness gracious me, like she loses clean, and not only that, she tapped out. God damn it! You just tapped out the only woman that made Becky. Oh yeah, yeah, man. And the poor thing is now, yeah, you get Carmella. Uh, Naomi, Mandy Rose, Asuka, Sonya Deville all might not potentially have a match at WrestleMania now. That, that's absolutely gutting. So, I suppose that's my thoughts on it. Um, I'm sorry that this is kind of short, but again, it's like freaking 5am. I want to get this, guy, this video out to you guys by probably about 10am if I can. Um, I'm, I'm gutted, man. You're like, what the hell is going on? And not in a good way. You know, a, a good way of being mesmerised is when you're almost in tears because Undertaker bloody redeemed himself at the place where he lost the streak. And not only that, he routed John Cena. That was as good a place as any to end his career, you know, and stuff like that. You, you, you get the point. Like, we love wrestling, but sometimes you just sit there and you're like, why, man? And imagine how Asuka, the performer herself, feels like. The real life Asuka. I don't know her bloody real name because it's Japanese. I'm not too good with that. But yeah, the real life Asuka. Imagine how she feels, dude. Like you have to go out there and be professional. But two weeks before WrestleMania, you're basically told you're not getting a match. And, you know, those suspicions of them not having faith in you have all but been confirmed. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, where do Asuka, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Naomi, Carmella go from here? It's sad, isn't it? And actually, just before I do go, my Becky Lynch road to WrestleMania, I, I, without spoiling it too much, I did have something in my script where Charlotte Flair would have like a SmackDown Women's Championship match. But I don't even know to continue with that now because I don't want people thinking I've copied. But it's so hard to script these videos. Like, you know, it takes like three or four days to do a script, then like literally two or three days to record an episode. You get one to two a week out if, if, if you're lucky. Uh, you know, with all the different editing techniques I'm now using along with this old computer. So again, thank you very much for watching. Give me your ideas for that road to WrestleMania, man, because I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm depressed. I need to come up with a new script quickly. So this video actually replaces that. But, you know, this was something I was passionate about anyway. And that's probably, that notification is probably Sham. You guys remember Sham? That's probably Sham complaining to me about it as well. So thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hit me up on Twitter at Take A Luke, man. That's T-A-K-E-R-L-U-K. -E Please, chat to me, man, because this is awful. Someone out there, tell me why this was a good idea. Thanks, guys. Peace.